and we've finally made it to the last part in this series. We're going to go from Subiaco to the CBD and I'm going to do this in real time with just a few bits speeded up and we're going to come out of this tunnel which takes us under one of the main roads and boom, we're, well, we're not quite in the heart of the Subiaco CBD, we're kind of on the edge of it but it's not that big. I mean if you think of it in Sydney terms it's uh, I guess like Burwood and along this stretch you can see we've actually got a separated cycle path with hedges on either side. On the, the other side of the hedge to the left is the pedestrian path which you know, shows you how wide the paths are and all of this has been redeveloped in the last 20 years or so. We cross that road there, uh, no special crossing arrangements and we're back on the cycle path. And you can tell it's a cycle path because it's red asphalt. Uh, nice uh, good bike shop there on the left, the bike doctor, had to stop in there and get some stuff the other day. Uh, but again, it's you know cyclists on one side, pedestrians on the other. And you can see there's a bus stop there and it's managed without any issues. These, uh, you see you can go off to the left there, the, the cycle path continues on and there'll be another video that covers that off. Uh, we can see this is one of the few intersections where there's actually a bike signal and a pedestrian signal back there. But we're back on this path. and. You can see that as we come off each intersection, there's kind of this mix of asphalt and stone. I guess, the, you know, so you go dunk, dunk, dunk. As you're coming up to the lights, obviously, uh, they want you to slow down and be aware that uh, there's something going on there. Now, this is all commercial stuff along here on the left and the right. There's government offices. There's major mining companies. Uh, you know, there's a lot of shopping. Off to the right, there's a big shopping area. Off to the left, up this street. There's Coles, Woolies and Target, you know, it's, it's a major little hub. Uh, you know, not like a silly little five dock, <laughs> but you can just see how well they've done this. So we're in a, a mixed zone here, we don't have a separated uh, bike path, but it's only for that little section. And then it cuts over to bike path and pedestrian path again. You see the stones as we go across there, boop, boop, boop. And some smart person many years ago planted lots of trees along here, so you're riding along in the shade and it's really nice. So we're coming into another uh, shared zone here and lots of residential stuff off to the left and the right. And we're going on to another bike path again and this is going through a very nice little park. It's a playground off to the right. Stop and fill up your water bottle. Notice how the, there's the tree canopy over the top. This is a feature of a number of uh, bike kind of or these bike parky things around here. Um, and I'll do another one which will cover another street where the uh, the trees have grown up enough that they provide a, like a, a shady tunnel to ride along which is absolutely fantastic on a hot day. Uh, coming up to a, a crossing here you can see there's the book 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 section of the stonework across the path and this is a pretty well used commuter path because it takes you into the bottom of the CBD. Over to the left we've got the railway line. Uh, what they did is they buried the railway line some years ago. Oh, we actually went past the railway station that was off to the left back there. That got buried. Now we'll just um, speed this up because it's just bike path that goes for the next, I don't know, 5 or 10 kilometres. There are occasionally uh, paths that intersect it coming in from the right, from the residential areas. You do have to <laughs> keep an eye out for people uh, coming in off those paths. The only complaint I've got about this is it's not shaded, so it's fine if you're doing it early in the morning, but uh, yeah, when it's 35 degrees it can be a bit, uh, you know, a bit horrible. Um, there's a nice little bridge going over a road, uh, you know, it's probably a little bit narrower than it could be, but hey, you know, it's a great path, let's not complain too much. Here I guess they're constrained by the houses on the right and uh, the, the railway embankment on the left. And, you know, it's perfectly serviceable. Um, it might not meet the latest Ostroad standards of, uh, you know, what, one and a half metres each way, but heck, it does the job. It would be nice if they came along here uh, where that fence is and planted a whole bunch of trees. And look, <laughs> this is what you've got to watch out for. She just comes in from the left uh, without looking. But, hey, it's a bike path. I don't think anyone's going to crash and die. Well, so we just go zooming on again. Um, can, you, you know, it just goes on and on and on, and we'll just, uh, what can I say about it? Um, I don't know, it's nice, it's red, uh, it's, there's no way in hell you can get lost on this, you just get on the path and go. And hopefully in a while we're going to come up to another couple of train stations, and we can see the way they've done the treatments there. I've done a, another couple of videos on this already, 
but this is just to give you some context to where they are and you can see those riders uh, they didn't both go around to the left one went left one went right I guess they've uh, done this before here it is a little bit narrow definitely with that rock wall on the left it's pretty tight and constricted you kind of got to watch it there's also a lot of uh, plants have overgrown but you can see there's they've put plenty of stuff on the, the surface of the path to let you know there's a uh, an intersection coming up another hot uh, open section you know but what the heck you just put your head down and go for it and obviously you can see the buildings of the CBD over there on the right and up ahead is uh, what is what it used to be the entertainment center not sure what that is Northbridge etc uh, I did a video the other day on this RAC building over on our right and the bike parking that they've got but we'll just go zipping across that and you can see again they've got lots of stuff on the path to let you know there's something there something to worry about um, but we're just going to keep on going these lights some of them have uh, grab bars so you don't even have to unclip the push buttons aren't always in the most sensible place but okay, look, it's not too bad look at the treatments on the path where it crosses driveways and car parks etc uh, plenty of stuff there to let both parties know that um, it's a crossing point and you know they haven't skimped on the yellow paint and so one complaint I've got here is over on the other side of the road there there's a some wayfinding signage on a pole it's over there to the right can't read it I could read it about there you just can't read it from the other side of the road rather hopeless uh, there's all sorts of paths that branch off this one so I could have headed left or east to go into the city to you know various places and um, maybe one day I'll actually you know bother to go and do that you can see there's a mirror up there uh, to you know so drivers who are coming out of the car park can see up this path and see what's going on ahead of us is Parliament House and what we're going to do is skirt around the bottom of Parliament House it's up there behind those trees uh, these intersections tend to have um, bicycle and pedestrian signals um, oh there you go there's one of the grab rails uh, that I was talking about and the the problem with this path here oh, and conveniently located push buttons that was another factor uh, but here what we've got to do is a very sharp u-turn as we go around this corner and I guess they've they've just had to deal with the constraints of the site uh, you know all these um, retaining walls and stuff have been here for um, quite a while and it was designed for pedestrians and not for cyclists so down there on the left you can see the freeway and the freeway exit ramps um, and this path will just take us um, under Malcolm Street and if we kept on going this way this would take us down to the Swan River and um, but we're not going to go there we are going to do a very sharp right hand turn get it into low gear and trudge up this slope and we'll see Parliament House in front of us so you can see here you know ancient 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 uh, footpath um, but you know it's uh, no one's ever thought of turning this into a shared path anyway here we go we're at Parliament House we're on the edge of the CBD and that's it for now